Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at Downtown Disney and today is an amazing day. As you guys already know, I've been talking about it for like the past like a uh, week and a half or so. Today is the, uh, the the first day of the preview for us Legacy Pass holders for the Star Wars Trading Post. And you can see behind me, they unveiled the sign finally. Look at that, it looks awesome. Uh, I'm waiting for my friend Timothy. He's actually gonna, gonna get me in with him at uh, 10.30. So he says he's parking currently. And right now it is, I think about 10, uh, 10. So we have a little bit of a wait still, but we should be in there soon. All right, so we're gonna be lucky enough to experience this twice today. So uh, my friend Timothy invited me to go in with him as his guest at 10.30, and then I have one for uh, 2.30. So I'm going to live stream it first and then I'll film it later at 2.30 for you guys. All right guys, so I want to apologize to all of you. Um, we're fine when we're live streaming outside. As soon as we walked in, we lost service and then the live stream just completely just died. So I decided just to film my whole experience inside of here. So that way I can show you guys around. Uh, again, I'm really sorry. I wish uh, if we had service in here, I would just continue live streaming for you guys, but it just wasn't the case. All right, so when you first walk in, uh, they ask you to grab a ticket or a number. That way, in case you do want to purchase a lightsaber, you can just go head back there and then once they call your number, uh, you can make line for the lightsaber. It's the same idea as the other uh, Star Wars trading posts over here in downtown Disney. Oh, look at the sweater. This is cool. It's got Princess Leia on it. $34.99. Uh, this caught my eye. This is a die cast vehicle of Millennium Falcon. This one's awesome. This one is $14.99. And they are selling droids. They have CB23, and then right above it, they have a miniature version of it. They have DJ Rex down there. And on the side over here, they have Mouse Droid. And this was remote controlled. Look at that. I still have my Mouse Droid popcorn bucket too. It looks exactly like this. So as soon as you walk in, you're gonna wanna make a right and head for the, the pram. Look at this, this is Grogu's pram. This is awesome. In case you guys are wondering, it's not for sale. It's just here for decoration, but that is so cool to see in person. So they're also selling R2-D2 and as well as they have the personality chips and you can actually test them out. You can push each button and see what each one does. This is pretty cool. Servo droid. Look at that. So it's a bottle opener and like the, you know like the bottle caps that you have to twist off or whatever? So I guess you, you can twist it with that way you don't hurt your hands. So here's like a little overview of the store. It's not like humongous, humongous. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's still a pretty good size. There's a there's a good amount of room in here. See, these are the Patty Frog zippers. These are the ones that you can buy. These just got here from Walt Disney World. Um, they were the first ones to actually have these, and it does light up as you guys can see. This one's lit. These look pretty big, like in pictures, but they're not. Like if you compare it to my hand, like it's not that big. And then way at the back, here's where you buy your lightsabers. I keep hearing that they do have, yep, they do have the Ahsoka Tano ones, they have the new ones and the old ones, they have uh, Kylo Ren, just all of them. <laughs> all of them that you've already seen in the other trading posts, they have them here too. And like this whole back area over here, this is all Grogu merch. That's pretty awesome. I feel like we've seen most of it, uh, except this, this is like the newer stuff that came out the Disney store and Shop Disney, but now we can find it here at Downtown Disney. Uh, this sweater is pretty nice, look at this. That's awesome. Yeah. And they have this black sweater. They have these hats right here. And they have some older merch over here. They have the plush, shoulder plush. Uh, I think that's a, like a travel blanket, I think it is. They have leggings, a sweater. They have the Crocs still. They have two different uh, versions of the Spirit jerseys. They have the Bounty and then they have the original one. It's the first one that came out. They have this like cropped shirt. This one's kind of cool, I like the color and stuff, but I don't know, the sleeves look, I don't know. It's not my style, I like I like the actual look of Grogu, but the shirt is a little strange. And the one thing I am noticing is the theming inside of here is crazy. Look at that, they got all like, the cables and like panels and stuff. Um, it just matches what's going on outside. So cool. And I don't think I've ever seen these shirts before. This one for sure I've never seen. I don't know how, I don't know if it's old or new, but it's really nice. It says no two shirts are exactly alike. Garments may vary. You look at the back. I like this Darth Vader shirt. It's like half when like his uh, helmet's like burnt and melted, and then how it originally is. It's pretty cool. And I like the maroon lettering. It's nice. Nothing on the back. Oh look, here's that stormtrooper flannel that I saw 
Let's dive with the ESPN zone. This is awesome. This is Crush the Rebellion. This one costs $64.99. And of course, <laughs> it does not come in a 3X. This this is something I'm like really excited for and I can't buy it. Oh well. I would so wear this though. This is definitely my style. That's cool. It looks like they brought some of the helmets and masks from Galaxy's Edge. They have Kylo Ren, General Grievous' mask. They have a Sith Obelisk. Jedi Temple Guard Mask. These busts, I think these were already in uh, the other trading post. So I think I've seen these already, but those are pretty cool too. This mug goblet thing is pretty cool. Look at that. That's awesome. <coughs> Look, I was able to find that water bottle that we saw in the display over there at ESPN Zone. This is pretty cool. I thought it's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Uh, it's twenty seven ninety nine. Uh, yeah, it's it's like re it's really well themed, but the weight's a little bit. Eh. I prefer like heavier water bottles to be honest. This one feels like it'll dent pretty easy, but it's cool. They have like little fuses in there. Look at that. It's cool. So they're also selling the helmets over here too, and they have Poe's X wing helmet on display over here. It's really cool. And then right next to it, they have the Batuan Spira. Look at that. This is a silver one that was sold in Walt Disney World for like a while now, but we finally got it over here. And when you do get it, you have to load it up with $100, and it's $4.99 to activate it. So now they're charging an activation fee. So a few cool things over here. They have this ornament, and then this figurine right here. Look at that. That is so cool. I think they had this already at the uh, other trading post, but it's here now. And then they have the Black Spire Outpost mug. They have the t-shirts. Yeah. Really cool. They also have this really cool music box. Check it out. So when you open it, it says, together we can bring order to the galaxy. And then let me see if you guys can pick up on the song. That's so cool. You guys are wondering, this is $24.99. Alright, so here's the last look of the new Star Wars trading post. I had a good time. It was pretty cool to see all this stuff. Uh, it really gives you like the feel like that you're in a theme park again, even though you're not. I will say though, maybe if they added a few new things as far as merch that we've never seen before, that would be awesome. Alright guys, let me give you an honest opinion. As cool as this store is, I honestly feel like it's just not worth like running to. Uh, I would wait maybe a couple weeks until the hype is over and then come in here. That's why I came here, honestly, on the opening day, so that way I can tell you guys what I think. Uh, obviously, it's just my opinion, though. If you guys are still hyped for it, make, make sure you guys do come down here. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, I feel like I wouldn't come here as much unless I'm looking for, like, a lightsaber or something. I, I feel like my downtown Disney trips are still going to include World of Disney first and then everything else after. Um, yeah, it's hard to beat World of Disney. All right, guys, now we're back outside. That was basically it for the inside of the Star Wars Trading Post. Alright, so before I end this video, I wanted to come over here to the old location of the Star Wars Trading Post and show you guys the current look of it. So, they've currently uncovered the Wonderground Gallery sign. And you can't even see inside the windows yet. They've blacked it out with like drapes and stuff. So, you can't see inside right now. And I heard that this is going to reopen on Friday once the new Star Wars Trading Post has its grand opening. Alright guys, I think we're going to end the video here. That was just like a preview of like what the inside of the new Star Wars Trading Post looks like. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I really apologize for that live stream. My hopes were, I was really hoping to like walk in there and show you guys around completely, but uh, I do have a reservation for tomorrow as well. So I'll come back tomorrow and do like a full like in-depth video of the, the training post for you guys and um, bring you guys along for that. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.